that's a... Uh... Yeah, probably, um, yeah, I think I mentioned more as a, uh, more as a, uh, I can see. Be under there, you'll be, you'll be fine under there. Morning. Hello. I'm just getting your title. <laughs> Hello, Andrew. Can you hear me? What's seven times eight? <laughs> Good man. <laughs> Welcome all. Welcome to you all. It's good to see you all today. My name is Sean. I'm from Newbury Friends of the Earth. And we're here today for the Lockdown Woods Dedication Ceremony. It's a project. Driving people, ideas, talking with councils, planting trees, getting people here, there. Ideas lady, Dr. Susan Millington. Thanks, Sean. Um, good morning, everybody. We're here today to mourn, but also to celebrate. We're here to mourn family and friends who have tragically died during the last uh, 18 months of the coronavirus pandemic. And we're here to uh, to remember them. We're also here to mourn those people that we know who are living with long COVID and struggling perhaps financially or with their mental health because of the uh, effects of the furlough and of, of lockdown on their earning ability. And we're also here to mourn for our young people who've had great difficulties through the last academic year of their schooling uh, and perhaps are having trouble finding jobs in this very strange market. But we're also here to celebrate. We're here to celebrate the power of community uh, coming together to help support each other through this difficult period we've all been through. So we encourage people to grow saplings in their own gardens, uh, ready to be planted out in, uh, in lockdown woods, in memorial woods. So, um, unfortunately, we haven't yet been able to plant out most of the homegrown trees because of restrictions on the number of people who could gather together in, um, during the lockdowns. We couldn't, uh, we couldn't do that, but um, we will be doing that in future. And it's, um, and it's a marvellous environmental benefit to actually plant trees that have been grown locally from local parentage. They're much, they're much healthier and stronger than buying them in. So the idea is to dedicate individual trees. Some of these trees are, you can see around you here have been dedicated to family and friends. And also um, some of the, the homegrown trees, which we'll be planting uh, this winter, um, will also be dedicated. So last winter we planted over 2,000 trees which was quite an achievement actually in a variety of lockdown conditions which doesn't make it easy um, so we've got um, we did it in conjunction with Hungerford Environmental Action Team, St Lawrence's Church uh, into a, new, a, a fourth lockdown wood which is going to be on Stroud Green uh, the District Council have very very kindly uh, allowed us to use some of the land there so we're very much looking forward to uh, to, to getting uh, on with that. If you feel moved to dedicate a tree yourself after uh, hearing this, then do get in touch with us. You can talk to Justine, who will wave her hand. Yep, there's Justine. 
Uh, or you can email us via our website, newbriefriendsoftheearth.co.uk, uh, or leave a message on our Facebook group, which is Lockdownwood, and we can um, we can tell you uh, how how we do it. So we're going to be managing each of the sites to enhance the wildlife by taking uh, a hay cut every year. So in the next couple of weeks, we'll be cutting and removing the grass from here in order to reduce the vigor of the grass so that more wildflowers will naturally grow. And then in October, we'll be planting thousands of bulbs on all of the sites as well to make them look very beautiful. So it's a community project. Do get involved if you'd like to, do any of the things that um, we've been talking about. Uh, there's no need to... And one minute of silence, please. By Catherine Pestanto. Um, we learnt it for Earth Day on April the 22nd, and it highlights the importance of taking care of the planet. Um, and I added uh, a verse at the end, which was um, to celebrate actually getting through this horrible disease and trying to live your best life. One, two, three. May you walk gently on the earth and know its beauty all the days of your life. May you walk gently on the earth and know its beauty all the days of your life. May the sun bring you energy by day. May the moon restore you at night. May the rain wash away your worries. Oh, may the wind blow new strength into your being. May you walk gently on the earth and know its beauty all the days of your life. May you walk gently on the earth and know its beauty all the days of your life. May the fresh meadow fill your heart with softness. May the calm lake bring stillness to your mind. May the pure air replenish your spirit. May the ground steady you and hold you. May you walk gently on the earth and know its beauty all the days of your life. May you walk gently on the earth and know its beauty all the days of your life. May you first feel the gentleness above you. May you sense the gentleness below. May you feel the gentleness around you. Oh, may you know deep gentleness within you. May you walk gently on the earth and know its beauty all the days of your life. May you walk gently on the earth and know its beauty all the days of your life. May you feel joyful in the mornings. May you cherish the hours in your day. May you live... ...of what's to come. Now, West, you may know that West Berkshire Council over the last couple of years has pushed the environment and the improvement of the environment way up. In the Friends of the Earth, so invite me to the rededication service. Um, I must just start off. I, I forgot my speech this morning, so I, I'm going to be ad-libbing because I'm, and I've just got over having two strokes, so you have to bear with me. Um, Excuse me, could you stand a little bit closer? Yeah. Is that better? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I first became mayor in 2004. After two years of being deputy mayor. And the first year was really a really good year, and the second year wasn't so good as uh, Councillor Elizabeth would keep it. Two young girls who are going to speak some poems to us from Hungerford. They've just finished Hungerford Primary Schools. We have Alice here in the lead. And it waves 
on windy days. Blossoms bloom outside my room. The rain keeps me alive whilst my leaves drive. I watched as years went by as my branches reached for the sky. My roots stretch to the ground, to the earth I'm bound. Life moves on and my leaves are gone. I'm growing weary and old, I should move on, I'm told. My space is now clear, I've cried my last tear. And then someone comes along to plant another one for generations to come. They are easily forgotten, those who have fallen before us, those old and wise and aged or the sick who once cradled us, gave us shelter and consoled us in time of need. Not always through certainty. Come, find shelter when life is so weighty to carry. The very first wave uh, back in March 2020. Um, I suppose I'll start by just explaining what intensive care is in the most simple form, it's organ support. To use uh, the heat of the PPE, especially in that first week, um, the air conditioning was turned off whilst it was checked to make sure it was safe to actually have on. Uh, um, and it was particularly difficult, especially when things weren't going right for a patient, to convey that across. The seeing really how the person is doing it very difficult to have more normal times. Thank you very much. And uh, we live fairly locally out in Rotten Hill. Um, my daughter Justine, who's been mentioned already, uh, last year, early last year. So thank you, Susan, for organising the whole thing from the beginning. Hello, my Graham Ford over there uh, installed all plaques. <laughs> <laughs> To go easy, to be filled with light, and to shine. That was by Mary Oliver. Can I say a few words of thanks? Sorry, to remember a dear husband and father, Malcolm. Malcolm passed away last October the 30th from COVID. He had a long association with Coltrop Board and Pat Berkshire Council for their time, their effort, for helping us with the land, their structure, and helping us do the planting. I'd like to thank all clear, Lucy. And forwards. <laughs>